Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome. How are you all? Hello, hello. Let's see who we have here with us. A huge welcome everybody. So excited to see you all. Hello everybody on Facebook. Hello everybody in the Zoom room. Hello everyone on replay. How's everybody feeling? Are you excited about today? I am. <laughs> A huge, huge welcome. It's been such an honour to be hosting this week with you all. Today we are channeling higher realms of consciousness for your breakthrough. Who is excited about that? So our flow is as follows. We're building on what we started to unlock yesterday with the secrets of reality creation. We're going to be diving into channeling higher realms of consciousness for your breakthrough. And you're going to receive an Akashic Records activation. And then at the end, I've got a really exciting announcement. So I can't wait to share that with you. So stay tuned. And for those of you that would like to know how you can go deeper and build on what you've started this week, then I'd like to take a moment just to share with you how you can do that and then tomorrow we're going to be mastering the energetics and momentum and then on friday we'll have a q a so any questions that you have please post them in the facebook group use hashtag question and then we'll be able to find them and we'll gather them all up and make sure we get them all answered um, and if you have a question after the session on friday please do post your questions because i'll circle back and answer anybody who's uh, caught the replay of the question and answer session if that makes sense well I felt like a bit of a mouthful to explain that one and then today I'm also going to do another surprise draw for someone who is on live with us so we'll do that at the end and this will be for our masterclass, well our workshop that we held E3 the alchemy and growing your audience this is a incredible uh, event that we held so um, you'll have the recording so you can tune in at a time that suits you and you'll get clarity on the energetic principles behind audience growth and an authentic way to add 25 to 250 potential clients to your business and 10k plus to your bank account each and every month so how does that sound and so the winner um, uh, we'll announce at the end and it will be will everyone who's entering their takeaways at the end um, then we will do a draw from everybody who's entered their takeaways. Does that sound good? Alrighty, so before we dive in, I would love for us to take a moment to just become fully present. I invite you just to gift yourself a couple of letting go breaths, calling all of your energy back to the here and now. and to consider what is your intention for being on this masterclass. On the replay, whether you're live on the replay. And take a moment to consider who are you becoming by being here? How is this contributing to your overall evolution in life, in your lifetime? And as you're being in this now moment, in this present moment, just to do a little body scan, what emotions are you feeling in your body right now? Are you noticing any contractions? Just become aware of it, be in the allowance of it. And on a scale of one to 10, how expansive and aligned to your intentions are you feeling right now? Let me know in the in the chat or in the comments. Just being aware where you're feeling right in this now moment. And then to consider how you want to feel at the end of our time together. And do share in the chat, what's your intention for being here? It's my intention that you have a clear channel to higher realms of consciousness for your breakthrough so you can manifest with more ease and receive surprise money. Huge welcome to those of you that are just joining us. So pop in the chat. Your 
intention and where you are on a scale of one to 10. Let's just see. I can see everyone typing away. <laughs> Where you are on a scale of one to ten. Welcome, welcome. You can see the comments coming through in the Facebook group. Fantastic. How's everyone doing in Zoom? Alrighty. So, uh, has anyone popped anything in the meeting chat yet? Might not be working my end. Let's see. Jackie, I can see you. <laughs> can you tell me, have you popped something in the chat? I can't see it. Okay, you have as well, John. Okay. So let's see what's going on there. All right, yeah. Okay. So I can't currently see the chat. It's not showing me anything. Um, so what we will do, what I invite you to do, if you have got Facebook open as well and you're in the Zoom room, then to use the comments below the live in the in the Facebook group. So because I can see those, that would be super, super helpful. And then hopefully Zoom will let me see the meeting chat at some point. <laughs> um, but it would be great to be able to see your comments. Money. We'll find a way. <laughs> it's always a way whenever there's a technical hiccup. Alrighty, thank you so much for helping me with that. Alrighty, so one of the things that I teach in our programs, which is coming into alignment with working with higher consciousnesses in planes. And so I'm so excited to dive into this with you today, because what I've noticed over the years is that as my clients have cleared their beliefs, their emotions, their energies that are hanging out in their, their human Wi-Fi and creating realities that they're ready to, to move beyond, as they clear up their energy field they become more intuitive and the connection with the higher self-consciousness becomes stronger they receive clearer and clearer guidance so that their inspired actions that they take then have bigger results so they create those quantum leaps and it happens every time so working with higher consciousness and planes is is key to quantum leaps so how do we create quantum leaps well one of the things that we can do is to to create quantum leaps working with the universal laws is to be able to be really intentional working with these universal laws and to think of these laws as a a huge consciousness and you can connect in with this consciousness and they are held on different planes and each of the planes has its own particular energy, which is best described. Just think of it as a vibration. And these vibrations are the very essence of, of life in all of its forms. And the lower planes have a lower frequency of vibration and the higher the frequency of vibration. And this is why we tra when we transmute energy so quickly when we tap into the higher consciousness and planes because the frequency is higher when we're working with our higher self and the Akashic records. Everything's energy. The vibrational forces of the planes can be influenced by the pure power of, of pure thought. So just giving you some context here so you can understand what's going on. And there are considered to be seven planes of existence that are all working within conditions, laws and commitments. And all creation is governed by by laws, by you know universal principles, if you like. And the principles that operate in the outer universe, you'll know these as natural laws, like the changing of the seasons, the law of gravity. And then there are the subtler laws that rule the hidden spiritual planes and the inner realms of consciousness. And these laws affect how you think, relate to the universe and how the universe and others relate, relate to you. So when we're releasing and aligning, using the phrase across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness, we're basically saying across all realities, across all frequencies and levels of consciousness. Does that make sense? And words, as you know, and thoughts create things and impact consciousness. And the key thing to know is that love is the foundation of universal law, the mind builder of your universe. And your mind is fully aware and attuned to the application of universal law in everything. There are hundreds of universal laws so for the purpose of today we're going to clear any resistances and reversals that you might be holding to the following the law of momentum 
the law of vibration, the law of attraction, the law of repetition, the law of detachment, so that you can manifest your results and allow more money in more quickly. Does that sound good? All righty. So this is the foundational piece for our relationship with speed. And the comments have come. Yay. <laughs> Fantastic. I can see them now. That is brilliant. Okay. <laughs> like magic. They suddenly were there. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. So I will circle back to see um, anything that I have missed. But I'm so pleased I can see those. So anyone in the Zoom room with me, I can now see the meeting chat. <laughs> and I can see the, the Facebook comments as well. So we're all good. Yay. <laughs> Fantastic. So <laughs> thank heavens. Yes. So one of the things that can impact us is our relationship with speed and how we allow ourselves to actually allow things to come in more quickly. And that will impact whether we actually will allow ourselves to have a quantum leap on all levels of our existence. And the thing is, because we can have fear or all sorts of things when we think about change and think about manifesting things quickly, and it's to do with our relationship with speed. And one of the key principles that underpins the work that we're doing together is that we're all connected and unified through one field of electromagnetic energy. Everything you know or perceive is connected to this field. So this is the thing, if one area is feeling out of flow and you aren't receiving what you'd like, where else is this showing up? So how you relate to money, time and speed is all interconnected. Where is this, where's the hidden resistance lurking? And this is why it's just, you know, it's so important, that, you know, that we clear our energy and our emotions and our thoughts, that we're fine tuning ourselves to the frequency of that which we've decided to experience. So I truly believe that energy alignment is the most important thing that you can do. It's your priority for being able to have the reality that you desire and to create the desire, that, the life that you desire. And I see this and I'm sure you've seen this, too, in the in, circles that you've worked worked in and uh, the communities that you're in you can have two people implement the same strategy one have aligned energy and create huge success and see their income grow and the other one do it from a misaligned place an energy of this has got to work even if consciously they think they're aligned the trick is knowing what is going on subconsciously and where you may pull back into a contraction even though you think you're in an expansion and then knowing how to change your vibration I, it, this is vital. I do see this is vital. This is why I invest in, you know, having my own coaches as, as, as well, so that I can keep myself moving forward so that I'm fully supported and I allow myself to be fully supported. So I'm being a, a, a future friend to myself. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of this term. My, my son Moses brought this this concept to me, which I just thought was absolutely brilliant. He'd come back from uni saying, um, and uh, I'd asked him to do the to do the washing up. <laughs> typical family conversation at the end of the evening and he said I'm going to be a future friend to myself and do the washing up now and I was like what do you mean he said well the now Moses just wants to go to bed but the future Moses doesn't want to do the washing up in the morning so I'm going to be a friend to my future self and do the washing up now and I was like that is just brilliant <laughs> I absolutely love it yeah very wise boy very wise um, so how can we be a future friend to ourselves so instead of delegating to our future self or abdicating the responsibility to our future self. So I'm being a future friend to myself to ensure I'm supported in our business with the right, right team members now. So we've got that everyone is committed to the vision and mission that we have as a company so that my future self can hold the container to support more clients and help them to have help more people have breakthroughs and the results that they dream of. So where can you be a future friend to yourself? I'm being a future friend to myself when I invest in my own coaching and personal development. So that's so that I can become my future self. You're being future friends to yourself because you're showing up for yourself this week as well. I just love this concept so much. So I invite you to think about, okay, so how can I be a future friend to myself? How do we become our future selves? And it really is. It's unlocking your subconscious recreating your identity and aligning your energy where, where you get that leading edge in business which is why I talk about alignment and embodiment all the time 
and doing that now. And as you go on your your hero's journey of your breakthrough and growing to the next level of your business from being you know, self-employed to your first six figures, from growing from six figures to multi six figures, as you embody your leadership energy and being the CEO of a, of a company, you're leading a team, your own stuff gets kicked up. There can be fears around, around visibility. Anyone resonate with that one, having fears around visibility? And of course, as your business grows, your visibility grows. Old familial wounds get kicked up. Imposter syndrome, anyone? The illusions of not feeling good enough. Your self-love barometer. Acquiring more self-love. Fears of rejection, fears of judgment, not feeling deserving enough to allow it all in. it It can be paralyzing. And as the money grows, you can feel this fear of just feeling like you might die if you allow more money in because it's such a huge energy energy coming at you as the money as the money grows particularly if it comes in quickly which is where our relationship with speed is impacted and can impact whether we allow it to come in quickly and how our nervous system and our energy fields can hold it we've got the capacity to energetically hold it does that make sense so we do need to work on ourselves consistently and a great way to visualize what's going on is to think of um, you may have heard this analogy before of the, the baby elephant. And in Thailand, they have a simple way to keep an elephant under control. So when the elephant is a baby, the keeper ties the baby elephant with a strong rope to a tree. And of course, the free baby, free spirited baby elephant just wants to escape, and it, but is held back by this rope. And the baby elephant will try and break free time and time again, tugging at this rope really, really hard. But it just won't break. What happens is after a while, the baby elephant is exhausted by its efforts. Its spirit is essentially broken because it believes that there's no hope and it just starts to accept its position and situation. So it's learnt hopelessness and helplessness. And that stays in the elephant's unconscious mind, even when it grows to be an adult. This is its default set point. And then even when the adult elephant can snap the rope with just a little casual tug, it just it doesn't make an attempt to do so because so strong is this limiting belief that's just been etched, this energetic imprint into the unconscious mind of the elephant. So I invite you to think, well, what unknown limiting beliefs are holding you back like the elephant? Your mind may not have the conscious memories of it, but your body will remember, your subconscious will remember. And all of that is held in your energetic field, impacting the decisions you're making, the actions you're taking or not taking and all the things. So what unknown limiting beliefs are giving you the various stories and experiences for why you are where you are, to keep you are where you are? Because we want to, the subconscious is like a sat nav taking you to what's in alignment with your identity and your default set points. Are there any setbacks in your childhood that still have that hold in you like the baby elephant's rope? How is this affecting your ability to to manifest more money? Perhaps whenever you find yourself balking at a challenge or the imposter syndrome kicks in, just ask yourself, am I being held back by a, a belief or an assumption? Is it to do with something that I experienced as childhood or is it just like it can be one event? And I'm just trying to break free from the from the rope. But every experience that you've had, whether you can remember it or not, is referred to in your current set point on that particular subject, that aspect of life. And we want to feel safe and in alignment with that set point, even if that set point is no longer serving us. So our energetic and neurological patterns will bring us back to that set point, like that rope tying us to a stick in the ground. And so, of course, you know, we consciously know some of the resistances and the illusions of the self-sabotage that we're we're holding. And then there's the whole load of unknown ones that are uh, out of our awareness running the show, our core wounds around feeling inadequate, fears of abandonment, rejection, all taking us to the to the wrong place. And they will be on things that you didn't even know to check for. And this is why, you know, when I'm working with my clients and my clients in the Wealth Portal, I'll take them through some very specific things. And we have a unique framework that I guide them through. And there's always find surprising beliefs and energetic patterns and blockages that have been 
feeding into creating their current reality. And then when they let them go, they immediately feel lighter and can start to build the momentum and follow my guidance. That's when you start to see that, that they start to see their change in reality. The inspired ideas come through, they take action on those ideas. You start to get more and more confidence as you're seeing, seeing the impact of this change in your energy and attract more amazing opportunities and you know so much, so much more. So I'm so excited for us to be doing this together today. We're going to be using the Helix method and we'll do some muscle testing to find out where there is some possible stickiness in your field and that you might not be aware of in relation to working with the spiritual laws of the universe, these consciousness, these huge consciousness around working with the planes of the universal laws. And we'll be creating a new consciousness that's in alignment with working with this new plane. And then we'll do a future progression in the Akashic Records and wrap up with living in the energy of the question and considering whilst we're in that frequency we've activated that frequency what's the aligned action to take does that make sense Alrighty, who's ready let me know if you are ready and what i am going to do as well is i'll share the uh, workbook from yesterday just so you have the the flow i can put it in the chat because it's working now and i'll pop it in the comments as well Alrighty. So everybody's got that. I'll guide you through this so it's all good. Um, so you don't need to necessarily follow along with it. Okay, so what I'm going to invite you to do, and I'm going to um what we're going to muscle test in terms of the universal laws, I'll pop in the in the chats as well when we get to that piece. Okay, so Georgia's ready. Is anybody else ready? Rachel's ready, Carol's ready. Awesome, awesome. We are ready. Okay, so let's take a moment to activate that connection with our higher self. I'm going to just invite you just to take a moment, make sure you're feeling comfortable in your seat. Close your eyes, you can go within. I'm inviting you to increase your life force energy through your breath. So to breathe in for four, hold for four, and to breathe out for eight. Just do that at your own pace, your own rhythm, three times. With the intention, I am activating and connecting in with my higher self. And it can help to just take a moment as you're doing that to become aware of about 18 inches above your head, your soul star chakra. You can see it as a blue pearl. And then through the power of your word and intention, you can follow along with this invocation speaking to all levels of my consciousness and creating a clear channel of communication, manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Just becoming aware of anything you may observe as this Frequency changes as you've strengthened that etheric pathway through intention. And I'm going to invite you now to start to muscle test to see what the resistance is that might be bubbling up in terms of working on the planes of the universal laws. So I want you to bring into your mind's eye the amount of money that you're calling in this week. So you've got that in your intention as part of this and then we're going to muscle test on the following phrases now I'm going to pop these in the in the, the chat so you can those of you who like to read along you can and I'm going to also say these out loud so that you can follow along as well okay so I want you to Take a moment to muscle test on these. And as you do this, to become aware of how your body's feeling. So remember, we were talking yesterday as you were muscle testing on um, the different things that we were muscle testing on yesterday. I was inviting you to do a body scan and just to notice if you were feeling any pressure anywhere as you 
tuned in and muscle tested on these different different aspects so the same again so this isn't about rushing through it this is around taking time to just notice how your body's intelligence is speaking to you to let you know where this resistance is and anywhere there's any energetic reversals to that piece where the energy is going in the wrong direction okay so I'm going to say these out loud so for those of you that would like to follow along to my voice you can do so and then let us know in the in the chat what you have found as well so the first one is I have got resistance to alignment with the law of momentum What do you notice? I have got an energy reversal with the law of momentum. I have resistance to alignment with the law of attraction. Notice how your body is responding. We found some reversals already. Okay. I have got an energy reversal with the law of attraction. I have resistance to alignment with the law of vibration. I have got an energy reversal with the law of vibration. I have resistance to alignment with the law of repetition. I have got an energy reversal with the law of repetition. Notice what you notice. Are you getting hot, cold, no sensations? Any images flashing through? How is your body speaking to you? Showing you where that energetic imprint is. I have resistance to alignment with the law of abundance. I have got an energy reversal with the law of abundance. I have resistance to alignment with the law of polarity. I've got an energy reversal with the law of polarity. Notice what you notice. I have resistance to alignment with the law of detachment. I have got an energy reversal with the law of detachment. And just notice what you're noticing. Know that there's a spiritual connection between you and your community and the souls that are in your community. This is universal law, the law of polarity, which says if you have a soul level desire, including for a certain amount of money, the way for that desire to be made manifest is already present. So another way to think of this is whatever you are seeking is seeking you. So your outcome is created in the same moment as the desire. When you really feel into that, that's very exciting. It's already done. Just got to bring ourselves into resonance and take the right action. 
and this is key, the law of detachment states that when we should let go of our attachment to the outcome, it can feel like it's easier said than done. It just means that releasing our attachment to a specific result happening in a specific way then creates space for new possibilities and opportunities that we might not have seen. I'm sure everyone can think of examples when you are, you know, you've let go of attachment and then suddenly something comes in, you're like, well, I did not see that one coming. <laughs> Yeah, as you're finding these, let us know in the comments what's coming through. Where are the energy reversals? Where are the resistances? Are you noticing how your body's changing? Any heaviness in your chest? Constriction in your head? Pop in the chat what's come up for you where your resistance was any energy reversals that you've uncovered we're going to get rid of this energetic resistance and this reversed energy so we can bring you into alignment with working with these universal laws so that you're not creating this energetic push against these huge planes of consciousness This is great. So notice we've got people saying they've got tingling sensation going on. They've got pressures in their body. What's going on in your throat? You may tingly. This is great. Yes. Yeah, so as you're doing this, when you're muscle testing and noticing the somatic response that your body's giving you it's showing you where the energetic imprint is and when we do the releasing you'll then notice how that starts to change and moves out of your field if you're getting tingling sensations as you're doing the activation that's as you're increasing the life force energy through the breath work you're increasing the oxygen in your body that often start to get tingling sensations in your fingers particularly if you've got your hands up in the air or feel um you'll feel it more strongly you feel them it's like you can feel the meridians running down your hands So if your body says you haven't got an energy reversal, have, I have an energy reversal, you go, no, that means you haven't got reversed energy. And you can get a yes for an energy reversal and a no for resistance. Energy reversals are bigger blobs of energy. So if you've got a, a no for resistance and a yes for energy reversals, just know your body's your higher self is guiding you and showing you through using the muscle testing in your body what to pay attention to so you can let go of the right thing. Make sense? Alrighty. Okay. So, are you ready to, to let this go? Alrighty. So, I'm going to guide you through this. We'll do a collective um releasing together i'm going to wrap it up into a, into a ball and activate the clearing from my end so just send me a telepathic yes if you're giving me permission to to do this my end and type in the comments yes if you are ready to clear all the resistances that have been holding you back and i'm going to invite you to follow along so i'm going to say the wording out loud and guide you through the visualization and the breath work as we're doing this we're going to say the releasing statement once out loud and then twice internally and this is so that you can really focus on the breath as you're doing this and paying attention to your body Does that makes sense what's going on how you how these energetic patterns are showing up in your field all righty okay so just inviting you just to become present and just to start to breathe in for four and breathe out for four at your own pace. You're bringing your heart into coherence. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Taking a moment to just bring your awareness to your soul star chakra again. 
that beautiful blue pearl, your connection with your higher self. You're breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And to visualize light white green light coming down over your crown, over your body, filling up your aura with light white green light. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And then just to repeat out loud, anywhere and everywhere, I have energy reversals and resistance to co-creating with the universal laws of momentum, attraction, vibration, assumption, polarity, abundance, repetition, detachment, to allowing an overflow of money to come to me quickly. I transmute and create, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Now just breathing in for four, breathing out for four, noticing how your body's feeling. Now I know you may not have had the resistances and the energy reversals to all of those. I'm just saying all of them because we're doing this in a group so that you can Tune in to the words that are resonant for you as you know that, ah, oh, I had the energy reversal around the law of attraction. Notice how your body's responding as you're saying these words out loud or you're thinking them because the next bit that we're going to do is I'm going to invite you to think them so you can focus on your breath, be in the observation, just listen to my voice and follow along and think. Say this in your mind's eye. So breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Anywhere and everywhere, I have energy reversals and resistance to co-creating with the universal laws of momentum, attraction, vibration, assumption. Polarity, abundance, repetition, detachment, to allow an overflow of money to come to me quickly. I transmute, uncreate, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Stay with this, breathing in for four. Breathing out for four. Feel how your energy field is getting lighter and brighter. Your heart chakra is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. Again, silently as you're breathing in for four and breathing out for four. Repeat in your mind if you choose to do so anywhere and everywhere. I have energy reversals and resistance to co-creating with the universal laws of momentum, attraction, vibration, assumption, polarity, abundance, repetition, and detachment to allow an overflow of money to come to me quickly. I transmute and create, delete this from all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Alrighty, so, Noticing what you're noticing, does the energy all feel like it's moved? Maybe it still feels like it's moving out. Just be in the awareness and observation. And then we're going to 
move into our next piece to create that quantum coherence in our human Wi-Fi to bring ourselves and activate that alignment with working with the spiritual laws for your breakthrough. Does that sound good? Alrighty, so we're going to say this one out loud and then twice internally again. So I'm going to invite you to really expand your energy field. We're taking a moment to breathe in for four and breathe out for four. Feeling your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. Take a moment to fill your heart chakra up with love. With more and more love. And you may want to put your hand on your heart or have your arms up in a V position. Whatever feel the line for you and saying out loud so your field your aura can hear these words vibrating through your aura I choose to be in flow with the universal laws of momentum attraction vibration repetition abundance polarity, detachment, across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Taking a nice deep breath in and out, keeping that flowing, breathing in for four, breathing out for four, noticing how your body's responding. Are you feeling more tingling as the life force energy comes down through you as you open up? more energy flowing through you, more prana flowing through you. And then saying internally so that you can really focus on how this feels in your body and the rhythm of your breath. I choose to be in flow with the universal laws of momentum, attraction, vibration, repetition, abundance, polarity, detachment, across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And then we're gonna do this again. One more time, silently. I choose to be in flow with the universal laws of momentum, attraction, vibration, repetition, abundance, polarity, detachment, across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. And just stay with this, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. And we're going to follow straight on to do another activation of your calling in your money and being in alignment with your money. So if your arms need a break, you may want to bring them down and then you can give yourself a little shoulder roll and then go back up again if you prefer doing this in that position. Just feel this connection, just staying with this energy, being in this energy for this moment. And I invite you to bring into your mind's eye the amount of money that you're calling in for this week. Just take a moment to feel the gratitude that it's already here. As you desired it, the outcome was created. This is the law of polarity, so it's already here, you're bringing yourself into resonance with it through these activations, the inspirations and taking the action. And then declaring out loud, so our phrase that we've been using this week, I have just now received, whatever the amount is, over 20,000 is the example I'm using this week. I feel, how do you feel? I feel so happy. I feel so grateful. I feel so free. 
I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. See that money in your bank. Then what did you do with that money? How did money serve you? Visualize yourself benefiting from that. And then to silently say in your mind's eye, I have just now received over 20,000. I feel so happy, so grateful, so free. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energy that no longer serves. Feel your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter as you connect with this experience, this memory that you've already called this in. How did it feel? Seeing that money in your bank account or in your Stripe account. However, you know it's in your reality. Again, then silently, I've just now received over 20,000. I feel so happy, so grateful, so free. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And just notice as you're in this energy, how you're feeling, how your body's feeling. And rapture any ideas or thoughts that are coming to you in this now moment. And then when you're ready, we're going to come back together I would love to know how you are feeling so lovely to see you all here seeing who's here fabulous righty Feeling warmer, fizzy arms. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I love it. My future self is ecstatic dancing around. Yeah. Hello, future you. <laughs> I love it. Alrighty. So we're going to shift gears a little bit. Are you ready to channel higher realms of consciousness for your breakthrough and to do some manifesting and activations in the Akashic Records? I'm sorry, I just think <laughs> my nose unblocked. That's a win. Yay for unblocked noses. <laughs> I love it. So awesome. People feeling lighter, fizzy arms. All righty. All right, so it's time to get nice and comfortable. I'm going to uh, take a moment just to, uh, where is that? i okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. <laughs> so I can find the thing that I want to share with you all. All righty. So, uh, see, that should do that. Yes, perfect. Can you all see my screen? All righty, so we're going to do a future progression in the Akashic records here we go so you've got your intention of what you're manifesting this is a time now to get nice and comfortable this in intention is your stepping stone to what you're creating in your in your life of course so we're going to tune into the future version of you who's already living the life that you desire so I'm going to guide you through opening your Akashic Records and we'll have some spaciousness after to, afterwards for you to be able to write this down. And then I'm really going to encourage you to come back and share, share together. So we're going to create the most successful version of you in your Akashic Records. In the future, it truly is an adventure, a journey that you're setting the stage for in all of your present moments. So let's activate your success the future you and your Akashic Records. So 
Get nice and comfy. If there's anything that might go ping, turn it off. So you're not disturbed. We're going to need about 20 minutes for this next piece, just in case anyone's got, you know, children that they need to go and pick up. <laughs> just to give you a heads up on that. Just relax your shoulders, your arms, your legs. Let all of your body and your muscles relax. Take a nice deep breath, releasing all your thoughts. Let your consciousness just drift gently down to your heart center. So just become aware of your heart center. Be aware of your feet on the floor, the energy beneath your feet, your earth star chakra beneath your feet that is grounding you and supporting you. Feel that connection and that loving grounding energy coming up from Mother Earth. Coming up through your hara, your pelvis, it's running up your body, opening up your heart opening up your crown chakra as you feel that pillar of light coming down from your soul star chakra, connecting you from above and below. Just relax a little further. I'm going to invite you to allow yourself to visualize a beautiful road ahead in front of you. You notice that the land around the road looks lush. It's filled with beautiful flowers and wonderful fruit trees. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. And you become aware as you go further down the road, that there is a beautiful temple shining brightly in the sun. This is your own sacred temple. Perhaps it's made of bright white marble. Maybe it's made of crystal. It's shining there before you. This is your own sacred temple. This place where you can connect to your Akashic records and access all of the information that you will ever need. You see yourself walking up to this beautiful shining building. And as you go in, you notice that it's filled with light and wonderful loving energy. You feel a deep sense of peace, power and happiness filling you up as you stand within this beautiful sacred temple of yours. And as you feel this deep peace, you notice a brilliant light shining from the next room. And as you step into the room, you open your Akashic records. Do I have permission to open your Akashic records? If yes, just send me a telepathic yes. You'll be calling in your Akashic record keepers, ascended masters and teachers, calling forth the planetary light beings of your highest light, calling the galactic councils of the highest light and order, calling forth the angelic kingdom of the highest light and order 
connecting you to the great, great central sun. Please open all Akashic records. Your records are now open. And passing through the door, you see a beautiful spirit there. This is your guide to the Akashic Records. And you know that this loving being is here to help you. You take a moment to make a heart-to-heart -heart connection with this being. Feeling such a powerful flow of unlimited love, truth, support. Just take a moment to really allow yourself to feel the love. Allow yourself to feel the connection flowing in and out of your heart center. You realize that this being has a message for you now. Open your heart to receiving this guidance. It may be just a word or a phrase or even an image. Just relax and take a moment to receive this message now. And you know that as time goes on, you will continue to get more and more Akashic information from this loving guide. Let yourself be open to whatever comes your way. Are you open to receiving some healing? Just send me a telepathic yes if you are. Thank you. I'm just going to ask the record keepers to please clear all vows, past life interference, implants, transgenerational imprinting, cultural imprinting, societal imprinting, religious imprinting, that it has to be hard work or difficult to be of value to receive. Clearing this from all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness in the most easy, joyous and effortless way. I'm just breathing with you, just notice how your body's responding. Any thoughts, memories, images coming to mind. Record keepers, please clear all vows, past life interference, implants, transgenerational imprinting, cultural imprinting, societal imprinting, religious imprinting and entanglements that it has to take a long time to receive if it's a bigger amount of money. Clearing this from all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness in the most easy, joyous and effortless way. Just inviting you to continue your breath, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Letting the intention that every time you're breathing out, you're just letting go of any energy that no longer serves. It's just releasing from your field. I'm isn't attached to the amount of money you receive. That's an illusion. 
So you know that you can make 5 million in a phone call in five minutes and you can make 10K in a phone call in five minutes. It doesn't take time. There is no time. Time is an illusion. A construct that we then slow ourselves down with. Just witness yourself feeling changes in your energy field. Breathing in grace and love and breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Just taking a moment to align to the divine definition of receiving. So just send me a telepathic yes if you are. So are you willing to align to the divine definition of receiving across all dimensions, planes, time and levels of consciousness? Just send me a telepathic yes. Thank you. Notice how you're feeling. Observe what feels different. How does this alignment feel in your body? You've embodied this. And just setting the intention that you will integrate this in an easy way. There's no need for a physical validation or a healing crisis to know you've embodied it. Let's just set the intention I integrate in the most easy, joyous and effortless way. Become aware, your guide is indicating to you that they want to show you the future version of yourself that you desire. To take a moment to see your future self living this life. And bring your future self into your mind's eye. Ask your record keeper to show me my future self. When you see them, Consistently receiving large sums of money so that they can fulfill their soul's calling. Your desire for more money is your soul's desire for more. So you can live at your fullest self-expression and use money as one of the resources to make this happen. Money is an ascension tool. As you receive more, you're able to create more opportunities for others. What are you aware that your future self is experiencing? What path did they take that led them to the experiences they have? Ask them, how do you feel? What is the vibrational frequency of this version of you? What is the level of consciousness of this version of you? Is it of Contentment, calm, hope, courage, self-responsibility, confidence, kindness, forgiveness, acceptance, joy, enthusiasm, empowerment, appreciation, happiness, love, freedom, 
serenity, lightness, bliss. Feel this vibration of this version of you now. What types of behaviours and expressions do you notice in this other version of you that you admire? What is it that you like most about them? What makes them so magnetic? And know that because of the way that this makes you feel, you may already be able to notice that this resonates with you. Can you perceive that you're able to manifest them in your imagination because you match that vibration in that moment? What you see in your imagination is a source of information. It is a guidance tool. You have created them in the Akasha. You know that you're able to match that vibration easily, simply by using your imagination in the field. You know this is the law of resonance working for you to bring you what you desire. In other words, there's already a part of your vibration that is a perfect match to the vibration of everything you desire. Because you can perceive and feel it, you're beginning to come into resonance with it. Ask this version of you if you may step into their shoes and experience their life for a few moments. As you do, what are your thoughts about this life? As you walk around in their shoes, what are you experiencing? How are you feeling? Can you feel the main frequency that this version of you carries? Do you feel drawn to maintaining this feeling as your frequency? What tips can you take away from this so you can accomplish this? Take a few moments to really embody this frequency so you remember, your body remembers how it feels. We ask as you are creating this version of you that the results are even greater than you could have hoped for or imagined. Breathing in and breathing out. Bring into your mind's eye the memory of what you're bringing into the physical plane this week. Your 10K, your 20K, your 100K, your million, whatever it is for you. And now we ask your guide for the book of co-creation to be aligned and harmonized with the universal laws of manifestation, attraction, Flow, balanced rhythmic interchange. Just take a deep breath in and out, allowing these new intentions to permeate every cell in your body. So your DNA responds to this you that you have created. 
So just breathe in and out three times, saying, I grace and bless this. I grace and bless this. I grace and bless this, just so you anchor this in as your new truth. And then in your mind's eye, surround this version of you in a pink bubble and put this vision inside the bubble. Pink is the colour associated with your heart. And when you use this colour vibration around, whatever you visualise, it will only bring to you that which is in perfect affinity with your being. Now let the bubble go. And imagine it floating off into the universe, still containing your vision. Or symbolically letting it go so it's free to float around in the universe, in the Akasha, attracting and gathering energy for its manifestation. I'm just breathing with you. And it now is time to close the Akashic Records. We're going to take a moment to thank your guide for the love and support here in your sacred temple. This is the temple of your soul where your divine light shines and reminds you how valuable, deserving, and powerful you are. Come here whenever you want to find your center, to reclaim your power, connect with the Akashic Records and with the loving spirits around you. This is your sacred place filled with love and endless possibilities. We thank the guide and the record keepers for their loving guidance and healing as we close all Akashic records. Your records are now closed. And just let yourself remain peaceful. Very slowly. With no hurry. As you come back to the present time and space, bringing the joy and knowledge with you. Continue to come back to this time and space. Slowly coming back to this time and space filled with the wonderful sensation that your future eternal self has brought you. One, coming back to this time and space, just letting yourself come back slowly, remembering your power and your ability to connect with the beauty, peace and inspiration of your sacred temple. Two, coming back to this, space and time and in the time to come you'll notice deeper and deeper connections with your guide and with other spirits and three back to this time and space now you may want to wiggle your toes wiggle your fingers have a nice little stretch welcome back In the days and weeks and months to come, you'll be receiving more helpful information from the Akashic field through your intuition and the help of the universe through this activation. So welcome back. And when you're ready, I want you to start making notes as you create the consciousness of your future self so that you can capture what you saw. So what did you see? 
Could you tell what you were wearing or where you were? What was your future self doing? And I invite you to write it down in the present. That might be, I am an award-winning artist. I'm an award-winning estate agent. I'm a best-selling author. I'm an award-winning coach. I run a home-based healing business. I'm a multi-six-figure transformational coach. I am the CEO of my seven-figure company, whatever it might be. Consider who do you need to become? And what would that future version of you already believe and feel to create this new life? What was that vibration? Were they confident? Were they happy? I'm going to give you a little framework for your description. Here we go. So we can pop this in the chat for you to help you as you're writing it out. So I'm the description of self. So it might be, I'm a best-selling author. I'm earning this amount of money a year. I trust myself. I can count on myself. I'm happy. Within the Facebook group as well. There we go. Right, I'm going to give you a moment to write out this phrase. And then I invite you to share your future self in the comments and chat so we can witness you and see you. And as you see each other's coming in, I invite you to celebrate and to say, I see you as you read it. Witnessing each other is such a powerful part of manifesting. So I really encourage, and I really encourage everybody in our coaching programs to share their daily wins. So we have a lot of fun and celebration. So as you see each other's descriptions, say, I see you, I see you. I'm going to pop some music on so that we've got a couple of minutes for you to gather your thoughts and to create your future, your future self. Statement. So let's get some nice music on. We'll just take two or three minutes to gather your thoughts around this and pop it in the chat.
This is so exciting, so beautiful to see. I see you, Graham. I see you, Carol. I see you, Jay. I see you, Angela. Oh, love it. If you're just coming back, we're writing out our vision of self that we saw in the Akashic Records, and I've posted the sentence framework I'm suggesting in the chat and in the comments, you can find it. And then as you read each other's, I invite you to witness each other and to say, I see you so people can feel seen. This is so powerful. I see you, Sam. I see you, Alex. Can't wait to read them all. I see you. I see you, Rachel. Oh, yes, I see you, Tundi. Oh, so beautiful. I really invite you to connect individually. I see you, Sam. I see you, Aman. I see you, Rachel. When you feel the connection compared with I see you all, it's more intimate, more powerful witnessing. So beautiful. I see you, Violetta. Does that make sense? Oh, I love this. I love this. As we're witnessing each other, seeing each other, I invite you to take a moment to live in the energy of the question. I see you, Jane. Oh, exciting. Alrighty. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. Thank you for witnessing each other. Very beautiful. Alrighty, so after you've done your witnessing and we can circle back and, and witness more, we're inviting you to live in the energy of this question now that we've activated all of this in our field. So just keeping your heart in coherence, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. I see you, Shannon. And to ask, why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money continuously come to me so easily and quickly? Asking from the place of wonder and awe. Allow yourself to sit with this question as you're in this energy, connected to your higher self, to see what inspired ideas come to you. I see you, Pauline. I see you, Georgia. Your future selves are amazing. I love it. 
you are all amazing creating this next evolution of yourself it's just incredible and I invite you to consider your aligned action for today is like how can I add more value if love was running my business what would love do how can I give more love What action would this version of you be taking today to add more value to your community, to your clients? Whether this is creating a free resource for your potential customers, sending them a gift, having a gift for new tenants, if you've got a you know, retail uh, property business. Just choose one thing. That's a line that you can commit to today. Share it in the chat inspiration if you're if you're in a job how can you add more value to the service that you're doing in the job and we're adding value without attachment so we're giving from a place of generosity and expansion can you reach out to five people who perhaps inquired about working with you before and just see if it's an aligned time for them now this is of service to them can you reach out to five people each day this week? Oh, I love it. And tonight I invite you to continue manifesting in your sleep. So as you're going to sleep, imprint into your subconscious mind. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Just repeat it 10 times as you're falling asleep. Who did it last night? I did. Yes. I see you, Manuela. And then tomorrow morning, I really encourage you to do this every day this week. And at the same time, this is how you build the habit. Just to take a few moments, you can do this when you're lying in bed. You wake up in the morning, just connect with your manifested scene in your mind's eye. See the 20,000 check or the money coming into your bank account, whatever the amount is that you're manifesting, obviously. And just visualize it. And then I've just now received over 20,000. I feel amazing. I feel excited. Allow all the feelings through. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh, I see you, Sam. This is so exciting. So, so powerful. Already, I would love to know what your takeaway has been so far from three these three powerful masterclasses that we've had so far. So in the first one, <laughs> masterclass one, we've covered the art of up-leveling your money consciousness and the secret is in your identity and that there's two parts to a successful breakthrough. There is the breakthrough and the up-level. And I introduced you to the Helix Method, our energy psychology modality and our manifesting ritual that we use within the Helix Method. And uh, we also use in our programs, the Wealth Portal and IPC. Then in Masterclass 2, we unlocked the secrets of reality creation and we covered the principles of reality creation and three secrets in unlocking reality creation. So the illusion of self-sabotage, taking full energetic responsibility and how we can unlock the subconscious mind to reveal that hidden resistance. And we started to change the consciousness of your, yourself so that you can bring yourself into resonance with what you're calling calling in for this week. And today we've been channeling higher realms of consciousness for your money, your money breakthrough and you received an Akashic record activation and cleared resistances to working with some of the universal laws and met your future self and collapsed the timeline for becoming them now. So I'd love to know what's your takeaway from today. This is so you can anchor it in and embody it. And I also invite you to notice how expansive and aligned you, to your intention you are feeling right now on a scale of one to 10. Where are you feeling? And whilst you're tapping that into the comments, for those of you that are live and sharing your takeaway, you'll be entered into our prize draw for today. I can see, oh, some vibes have been raised. It's exciting. And if it's, 
Okay with everyone, I'd just like to take a few moments just to invite those of you who are ready to become an energetic match and live life at your highest potential to share an invitation with you. So I'm so excited to invite you. We have our coaching and mentoring programs. So we have the Wealth Portal. So this is for entrepreneurs and coaches where you'll break through your money ceiling in 60 days or less and be supported in holding your up level so you can continue to expand your wealth consciousness. So you get access to the recording straight away and then you join us for our live calls where I'm taking you through the content live. So we're doing the workshops live together like we have been this week. Um, we've literally just scratched the surface this week. This week is a bit like week one of the, the wealth portal. So I really encourage you to, to come and join us if you've loved this week and, and want results and you love my way of teaching and energy coaching. My consciousness has expanded since I first created the wealth portal and it continues to do so. So I want to take everybody live through it and through the upgraded upgraded content as my, as my own consciousness has expanded. And then we have the Infinite Prosperity Collective. This is our six-figure business mastermind. This is for coaches, healers, mentors, where you'll learn to sell your 3K plus offers with ease so that your 10K, 20K, 30K months become inevitable. So this is our six-figure plus business mastermind. And then we have our certification programs as well. So we've got the Helix Method. This is where you master energy psychology, healing and manifesting across all areas of your life. For, you know for yourself and for your, your clients and you guide your clients to create the epic results that they desire so they can have the life of their dreams and then we have the Akashic Records so you learn to, to read the Akashic Records for yourself and then you can also learn to read for others and add this as a service for your clients you get access to our digital training program straight away in our private Facebook group you can find practice partners in the Facebook group and then you can come and join us for our live immersions and we have our next live immersions in October and December so plenty of time to get the dates in your diary for for those Alrighty, and I'm super excited to to say that we have got the best bonus I know that people love these bonuses so for the first five people that purchase and pay in full for their program they will receive a bonus of a private 30 minute call with me this is absolutely huge in value but this is just for the first five when they pay in full for their for their program so, so excited. And uh, you can use this for any aspect of life with me and we can tune into your business. We can heal a relationship. There's loads that we can do in, in 30 minutes. So very, very excited to, um, for, for the bonus for those first five that um, are stepping into their program and paying full. What I wanted to do today was to give you a quick overview of the Wealth Portal and the Infinite Prosperity Collective. Any questions, just pop them below um, in the chat or in the comments or send them over in DMs. Um, and we'll get the, the questions answered um, to you. We'll also answer questions around the programs on Friday for you as well. So in the Wealth Portal, over our time together, you'll expand your money consciousness and create a new identity around money. We dive deep into the energetics of your consciousness. Our intention is that you break through the money ceiling in 60 days or less. This is for all entrepreneurs, leaders and coaches. We do the energy work live together. I show you the exact steps and how to release the cluster of hidden blocks and resistances. We dive into your goal trauma, financial traumas. I've just found people do really well with that framework and guidance of exactly what to do next. So we're healing your relationship with money and changing your identity around money. And I give you some specific things to do with our Helix Method manifesting rituals so that you have the results that you desire. Because as your identity changes and your personality is changing, your reality changes. And how we do this is we gather together three times a month so that you're fully supported, you know, with time to have your questions answered, receive laser energy coaching on any of the niggles that might be coming up and any stickiness that might be showing that's asking for healing. And you get access to the program for life, which is absolutely huge. So just reach out to me to let me know if you'd like the juicy details and our masterclass savings. And if you pay in full before Tuesday, and you're one of the first, then you'll receive a private bonus call with me. So that is time sensitive, just to give you a heads up on that. And uh, just reach out to me, let me know that you'd like the details and we'll pop over the invitation to you. I've got all the, inv the information in a, a Google Doc for you. We'll, we'll um, turn it into a PDF so you can just read the details whilst you're in your own energy and then just circle back and let me know that you're in and we'll get you all set up. And if you are a coach, mentor, a leader, a healer who wants to have business coaching, 
then the Infinite Prosperity Collective is, is for you. This is our eight month mastermind. This is where you'll learn how to sell your 3K plus offers with ease to be able to start to make that 10K to 30K months inevitable so that you grow a sustainable and profitable business whilst making the difference that you came to, to make. Everybody here wants to make a difference. And, you know, we'll see where you're at in business when you first join IPC. And then we create your pathway to success so you can get the needle moved in your business immediately. And you'll have my guidance, support, have all our templates and, and swipe copy, everything that I've used to grow my business and um, over time. And you'll have the alignment and manifesting that we support you with as well. So everything you need to have your growth to having a profitable multi six figure business. And this is absolutely huge. You have unlimited copy reviews of all your marketing material, which is worth its weight in gold. I mean, you will literally save thousands and so much time from, from this alone, this piece alone. And we'll be ensuring that your marketing and sales are in alignment with your unique energetic blueprint, your human design, because everybody's so different and it's not one size fits all. So we want to make sure that you're creating your business in a way that's going to suit your energy. And you'll discover the things that you need to know for your business because you don't know what you don't know as you grow. So I'm by your side guiding you. And we gather together three times a month so that you're fully supported with love seat calls. You receive laser coaching from me on supporting you with implementing the methods in your business. So you can move forward with more ease. And we do Helix method manifesting and Akashic record activations together so that your vibration is, is supported. And this is a huge bonus. We promote you to our community. We invite you onto our podcast and promote you to our email list, which has over 9,000 people on it, which is absolutely priceless. So very excited for to invite you to Infinite Prosperity Collective. I really want you to have the business success that you desire and to have the peace of mind and the freedom that comes with it. So I would love to love to help you. And we are a small group. You know, you have direct access to me and my eyeballs and my bandwidth and my frequency on your business. So if you're feeling the call then just reach out to me and say that you would like the info and I'll pop all the info over to you and you can have a read through and then just circle back and let me know that you're in and we'll take it from there. Alrighty, I cannot wait to see who's stepping forward and to see what gets calibrated for you. Tomorrow at the end of our session, what I'll do is I'll share the exciting details of our certification program. So we have the Helix Method and the Akashic Record certification programs and just to give you a heads up, if you already know that you want in, I have had people reaching out already. So please just reach out. Let me know and we'll get all the details, the details over to you. All righty. Okie dokie. And I will pick up the chat messages. I can see some people saying, yes, details, please. So I will um, check in to see who's asking for asking for which details. Um, and we'll take it from there. All righty. Let's do the prize draw. How does that sound? So this is for our EQ, the Alchemy and Growing Your Audience workshop. And this is a recording of a live event that we held. So you can tune in at a time that suits you and you'll get clarity on the energetic principles behind the audience growth um, so that you can start to add 25 to 250 potential clients to your business and 10K to your bank account each and every month. So this is super cool. So we are going to just see who has put their takeaways into the comments and who is going to win drum roll dun, 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 dun. let's see all righty okay i'm so excited have you put your takeaway in all righty so the winner is manuela manuela di fabio congratulations Oh, I'm so excited for you, lovely. You have won the Alchemy of Growing Your Audience Masterclass. We will, the team will be in touch to get that over to you. Huge congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing and inviting all your friends on the journey together. Please do continue to share. They're very welcome to come and join us and to, to uh, join in for the replays. Every time we see that you are sharing and tagging us, then we'll pop your name into, into the draw. And um, we've got lots of lots of prizes to be to be had. So please do keep on sharing the love. So appreciate you you doing so. And I know that your friends will be really grateful for coming and joining us in, the, in this masterclass as well. Alrighty, thank you everybody for joining me live and for the replay as well. We have got a survey coming out, and I would be super grateful if you complete it. It'll take you about 
30 seconds, <laughs> but it does help us to shape our trainings and our masterclasses. So pay, that will pop out in the, the next couple of hours in the Facebook group. I hope that this has served you, sending you all lots and lots of love. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a different time. So it's six o'clock UK time. First time we've done it at a different time. <laughs> so hopefully you can all make it. Oh, there'll be reminders in the groups, etc. But just um, uh, just to give you a reminder. So six o'clock tomorrow, we will be back for Mastering the Energetics of Momentum. Sending you all loads and loads of love. Take care. Bye bye.